Angry scenes in Peru's capital, protesters say the judge's decision to pardon former President Alberto Fujimori is an insult. Teodosia Gawaya says she will not forgive or forget. He has to pay his full 25-year sentence. He has killed many innocent people. Fujimori is a murderer. Fujimori, who governed between 1990 and 2000, remains a polarizing figure in the country. Some Peruvians laud him for defeating the Shining Path rebel movement. Others want him held to account for human rights violations carried out under his leadership. Gisela Ortiz's brother is one of the students killed in a massacre. We are outraged. The Constitutional Court now frees Fujimori, a right that does not correspond to him, and tramples on the right to justice that we have as family members. The court's decision on Thursday restored a humanitarian pardon granted in 2017 by then-President Pedro Pablo Kuczynski. The following year, the country's Supreme Court overturned that decision and sent the former strongman back to jail to serve the remainder of his sentence. Some experts say this latest decision to pardon Fujimori contravenes international human rights treaties. His family and supporters say that Fujimori's health has deteriorated during his incarceration and believe he shouldn't have to die behind bars. Fujimori hasn't complied with part of his sentence. He hasn't acknowledged his crimes. He hasn't paid reparations or asked the victims for forgiveness or contributed to solve some of the crimes where people remain disappeared. Some critics say they wouldn't oppose Fujimori's release if he admitted to his crimes. If there was a public expression of forgiveness to the victims, that would change the situation a lot. We have been waiting for it for many years, but it is not going to happen because he and his defense continue to say that Fujimori is innocent. Defense lawyers have asked the Inter-American Court for Human Rights to review the decision. For now, Fujimori awaits his release with supporters celebrating the man they consider a savior during Peru's civil war. And others who expect the International Court to say the decision by Peru's court is no. Mariana Sánchez, Al Jazeera, Lima, Perú.